Hello everyone! Welcome to our Financial Solutions Today YouTube channel. So please don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell button so that you will always be notified if there are new uh, online coaching session or online coaching topic. Also, don't forget to like and share it to the people around you so we can spread this good news. Okay, so today, so let's uh, focus on one important things in our life. So ngayon na uh, tayo nakakaranas ng pandemic, ano ba ang hanap mo? Ang hanap mo ba ay trabaho? Ang hanap mo ba ay negosyo? O ang hanap mo ba ay pagkakakitaan? So alam naman po natin ngayon, during this time of pandemic crisis, a lot of people are about to lose their job. Okay, so the dollar says that uh, we have about 2.75 million are about to lose their job. Okay, and including around 400,000 OFW. And this number will continually increase as the effects of this pandemic will uh, slowly be felt by all of us. Kaya napaka-importante ngayon kung uh, paano natin haharapin ang uh, problema na to. Na kung ikaw ay isa dun sa mga nawala ng trabaho, o ikaw ba yung nagsara ng negosyo, o ikaw ba yung uh, talaga ngayon ay walang pinagkakakitaan. The, this session is really for you and I hope that uh, this Financial Solutions Today Online Coaching can really help you. First and foremost, ay tingnan mo, alamin muna po natin yung, kung ano talaga yung mga uh, magpe-perform very strong in this time of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Sabi, na, sabi ng mga expert, there are four industries na stand out. First is the food industry. We have the health and wellness industry the technology industry, and the transport industry. So, kung naghahanap ka ng trabaho, most likely dito ka sa mga industry na ito mag apply Most likely sila yung mga uh, marami mga job opportunities. Kung naghahanap ka naman ng negosyo, most likely ito rin naman ng mga negosyo na maaari mong pasukin okay, or maaari mong simulan. At kung naghahanap ka ng mga extra income, Ito rin po yung mga pwedeng mo mga produkto na pwedeng i-distribute. So, isa-isahin natin na kung ano yung mga tinatawag nating uh, big winners and losers okay, in the business sector. First and foremost, the winners, we call it the basic necessities. Since a lot of people right now are focused on the essentials, they are now focused on the most important things. So, what are those basic necessity? Probably the food industry, the health and wellness industry, the hygiene. Talagang panalo po ito mga basic necessity. Ano naman po yung counterpart niya ng mga tinatawag natin mga losers? Ito yung mga luxury goods and luxury experiences. So, napakarami po ngayon mga negosyo ang nagsasara. Lalo na kung ang kanilang mga binibenta ay mga luxury items. Second is technology. Okay. Technology is really stand out right now dahil uh, because of the social distancing, okay, because of the fear of COVID-19. So a lot of people right now uh, go online. So as much as possible, they want a paperless, cashless transactions. Okay, so if you want to start a business, then probably technology is really good. Ang losers naman po dito is yung mga traditional companies. Kaya napaka-importante na talagang yung mga traditional companies ay mag-adapt sa technology. Pangatlo is the online retail. Everybody right now, they go online. Sa very evident yung mga online platform natin ngayon like yung mga Shopee, okay, mga Lazada, and even just the Facebook itself. Facebook, we have about 72 million Filipino users ng Facebook. And if you want to really start a business or if you want to sell something, so you really you can really use the Facebook as a means okay, to distribute your product. And if the online retail are the big winners, 
Ano naman ang losers dyan? Ang losers naman dyan are the malls and the cinemas. Okay? Because I would probably just buy clothes online rather than go to the mall na hindi ka sigurado kung ilan na yung mga nagsukat ng mga damit. Okay? Although, we don't know because probably the DTI will change the protocol inside the mall. And even cinemas. Okay? Probably, uh, because of this pandemic, you would not want to go to cinemas rather than you would just buy the products or buy the boobies online. Then, another standout here is the, the another winners in the industry is the deliveries. Okay? So, right now, everybody go online. Okay? So, in terms of deliveries, like uh, the losers here are the, the restaurants. You would not want to go to restaurants to avoid the uh, exposure with people. You would rather probably uh, order food by uh, Grab Food, Lala Move, or any platform, Food Panda. That's really a big winner. Another big winner in the business or in any form of income is the local manufacturing. Since most of the borders right now across the world is closed so the import export industry is really going down it's really for the local local manufacturers right now it's their time to shine people right now would probably uh, patronize okay yung mga gawang uh, Pilipino so another big winners is agriculture okay I think for the very first time in our history, ay medyo nabibigyan yata ngayon ng pansin at ng importance ang agricultural industry. Rather than, uh, because a counterpart ng losers ngayon is the international service and the job deployment. For the people, instead na mag-abroad kayo dahil ngayon talagang nagkakaroon ng malaking retrenchment in different countries, then why not focus dito sa resources ng Pilipinas. And our biggest resources is agriculture. Alam niyo po ba na magtanim lang kayo sa isang hektare ng lupa, you really earn millions of pesos. Name it. Tanim ka ng gulay, tanim ka ng prutas, mag-alaga ka ng baboy, manok. So it's really probably this now the perfect timing that we will really focus on our own resources rather than going abroad. Another winners in the industry is uh, the real estate. Although the real estate are in two sides. So may mga real estates na loser, may real estate na winners. Anong real estate na winners? Of course, ang winners dyan is the house and lots, the townhouses. Especially the government is promoting work from home. Uh, kung work from home ka, I'm, I'm sure you are investing Okay, to for convenience, for productivity, na ikaw ay nagwo-work from home. Another winner there is the farm lot. Okay, it's really the best time to buy farm lot and cultivate the soil and really maximize the resources na magtanim, mag-alaga. But the losers there are the condominiums and the office space since we we promote work from home. So marami mga Uh, space ngayon, office space na hindi magagamit. Dati kasi iniisip natin to win in business, kailangan uh, magaganda, mag magagandang quality ng products, mga stand out, like mga Starbucks, mga imported bags. Pero ngayon nagkaroon ng pandemic, nakita natin na hindi talaga siya ngayon uubra. Okay? And because the dynamics of spending are changing. Before, ang iniisip natin sa negosyo, kailangan mga big stores and malls. And during this lockdown, nasa na sila? They are all closed. So, another thing is, we think na pag negosyo, kailangan malaki ang kapital. But right now, iniit ngayon, hindi na. Hindi na po uh, porky malaki ang kapital mo ay panalo ka. Because if you open a big restaurant so they were in, you spend millions. Tapos ngayon nag-lockdown, automatically yung losses mo are being felt. And we always think that major cities like New York, Singapore, and Dubai are always the key to win in business. But it's now changing. 
So, we have to be, be prepared right now because the new normal is really changing in the next two to three years. The dynamics in spending are really changing. The borders are, are closing. Okay? So, marami din mga conventional wisdom na ngayon parang hindi na siya applicable sa pagnanegosyo, sa pagtatrabaho. Like, we always think that comparative advantage is the best. Okay? But right now, you would probably buy food sa kapitbahay mo because it's homemade, it's more secured, okay, rather than a product that has been traveled elsewhere. And an exposure niya is mataas. And we always think that globalization is unstoppable, okay? But right now, it's no longer applicable because right now, we, as we have said, people will probably look at the local manufactured products. And we always think that Goliaths in business always win. Okay, not, not this time. D during crisis, we have proven that everybody now becomes equal. Okay, unless you adapt. Okay, unless you adjust yourself. And another thing is, uh, we always think that going abroad is the best way and to get rich. And the only way to get rich, ngayon di na rin po siya applicable. And, and the most important thing is, being an employee is no longer a guaranteed income. That's why we always teach people, okay, probably kung ang hanap mo ay negosyo, hanap mo ay trabaho or pagkakakitaan, I would say that probably you apply those three. The best way, the best way to cope up with crisis like this is, yes, you can have a job and make sure that you have a job that is the winner in the industry. Number two, make sure that you have a business. And number three, make sure that you keep on increasing your uh, sources of income. Anyway, so I hope that uh, this topic uh, had helped you. Actually, we have, we have a lot of opportunities that we can present to you. I would suggest uh, three times a week we conduct seminars via Zoom. So you can attend that every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. And you would learn, you would learn more, uh, a lot of uh, opportunities on how you can make money. Okay? So don't forget to click subscribe, okay, and the bell button for notification, and click keep on uh, sharing, okay, click like and share this uh, Financial Solutions Today YouTube channel. Thank you so much. God bless us all.